What's up my friends? Welcome to the special edition of Julian's Travel Stories. So what makes this a special travel story edition is that we're not really going anywhere. <laughs> Who can relate? So we're going to do something else. We're going to pretend that we're in a small little submarine and that we're going to go all the way into my body. Mm -hmm. To have a look at my DNA and see where I actually come from. As you can see, it's Christmas time and you know how much I love Christmas. I decided to treat myself to something that I've been wanting to do forever. It just arrived in the post today. They don't want you to get inside. No, we have time. So this is what I got. A My Heritage DNA kit. What I know about this is that you give them samples of your saliva or something or hair, I actually don't know and then you send it back to their labs and then they're going to analyze your DNA and tell you exactly what your gene pool is made out of. So where you come from, basically. Now it's no secret that my family history is very diverse. And for someone who looks so completely damn 1000% German, there is a lot going on there. I'm really excited to find out exactly what the concoction is. So once they've analyzed my samples, it sounds so gross. They are going to send me a report with all of the information in it. I'm gonna open it up. Pulls out like that. Let's see what we have inside. Oh, it already starts with technical stuff. I hate technical stuff. Activate your DNA kit before sending back your sample. I've got a little barcode. This is probably what I'm gonna be using to register. Instructions! I've got an instruction booklet. I have actually gifted a lot of friends the set, but I don't think any, any of them have done it yet. Maybe they're scared. Maybe they're scared that they're actually alien or something. Okay, so we've got two swab sticks. Oh, this is gonna be easy, I think. These little things, these little vials with formula in them. I thought it was gonna be much more elaborate, but I'm glad it isn't. There's also this, and I don't know what that is. Okay, so let's read the instructions, which are so short. I am so happy. <laughs> I hate long instructions. Ugh. Activate your kit online. Do not skip this step. It is necessary to get your results, but I'm gonna do that a little bit later um, because I want to do this with you first. Open the test kit and lay out the unopened swabs and vials on a clean surface. Clean? All right, they've been laid out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these swabs and I'm gonna swab around inside one of my cheeks for 30 to 60 seconds and then I'm gonna place this swab into this vial, break it off and then close it and this is gonna be my test DNA or whatever you wanna call it, my sample. My sample. Is that really all I have to do? Here we go. This is the good cheek. It's got all the information. I should have timed this. Okay, some good stuff. Where is the vial? The ball. Vod estival. Okay, here. I'm gonna open this little tiny thing up now. I'm now going to dunk that in there and break it off. Oh, that was easy. Mm. Thank you, my heritage. And now it's just like doing its thing in there. This is vial number one. I'm gonna place it back in the box. And I'm assuming I'm just gonna do the same with vial number two. Basically, I'm gonna do exactly the same, but with the other cheek. Oh, 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 oh. It's for warm up. I did it a bit longer because I just really want them to get all the information. Dunk your head in there. Ah, break it off. Oh my gosh, I should have become a doctor. Make sure the vial caps are closed tightly. I've placed them in the ziplock and I'm ziplocking it now. So there's all of my valuable golden platinum information. 
contains cheek swabs from a healthy human not known or suspected to have infection substances. I mean, it's good that they write that on there, but also everyone's going to be suspicious now. I'm just going to put that in there, nice and tight, and then no licking needed. We are done. This is all that needs to happen. I thought it was going to be so much more complicated. I do have to put on my own postage though. That's it. I'm going to send this off right now. Once I get the results, I'm going to continue with this video. If I don't see you till then, Merry Christmas. Hey folks, so if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to my channel to never miss another one. Also, remember to like, 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 like. The likes are just really important to me so I know that I'm a valid human being. And hello again. So it's been about a month since I did my, my heritage DNA testing with the swabbing and the sending it off and all of that. It's snowing. That's nice. It's really early in the morning. I just got out of bed, but I saw the email and I was like, I need to read this now. So let's do it together. I opened the website and let's see what happens. Julian, you are 35.8% Scandinavian. Wow. 18.5% Iberian. Okay, makes sense. 12.2% South Asian. Okay, Indian. 10.4% Nigerian. And 23.1% eight other ethnicities. Okay, this is so interesting. So let's check it out. Let's see what this means. Iberian, which is Spanish, Portuguese, makes sense. My ancestors were Portuguese. But Scandinavian, I mean, Northern European, I suppose that's what that is. Okay, but let's just see. View full ethnicity estimates. So we've got 35.8% Scandinavian, 18.5% Iberian, 6.8% East European, 5.9% North and West European, and 1.4% Balkan. Awesome. Then 12.2% South Asian, which is cool because it's the whole Indian family. So already from that, you can see the Portuguese and the Indian influence, which is kind of what I knew anyway. But the African one actually interests me because I'm South African, but we're a mix. My whole dad's side of the family comes from an area called Sibasa and Benda, which is in Limpopo. But they, I believe, were much more a group of people who came there rather than having been there for centuries and centuries and centuries. There's 10.4% Nigerian. Okay. Sierra Leonean, 2.8%. Central African, 2.5%. Maasai, 1.8%. And Kenyan, 0.9%. Wow. Middle Eastern, 1%. Genetic groups, Germany, and South Africa and Zimbabwe. All right, so what's cool though is I can click on the, let's go on the Scandinavian. I can click on it and it will tell me something about the ethnicity, I suppose. So this is really cool. I'm definitely gonna spend a little bit more time rummaging through this. I love it. I think this is so exciting. They can tell me if I have any family who've also registered, Jan Nell, and I could contact him. He's in the region of third to fifth cousin in South Africa. Dawn Yvonne Finney. Marjorie Nigel Bly. Pretty long list of third to fifth cousins. I don't even know what that is. What's a third cousin? Catherine Pfau. Hey. France. Julie Duzen. There aren't any famous people here, are there? So. I could go on forever, but I mean, how cool is this? These are my results. Scandinavian, Iberian, Eastern European, 
North and West European, Balkan, South Asian and Nigerian, Sierra Leonean, Central African, Maasai, Kenyan, Middle Eastern. So this was a travel story of a different kind. We went straight into my genetic history and I have to say, I love it. This is so cool. I can only recommend everybody does this. I did hand out some sets to my friends and I'm just going to kick their asses and make them do this now because this is just so cool. That's it from me for today. I'm checking out. See you soon. Thank you.